I'm here at Bank Street Reserve, Ashgrove, and it has just rained for the past two days. So we're going to come out and see what creatures have come out of the ground and are now above ground under logs and other types of debris. So let's go see what we can find. Here's a little stream that's running, and this is prime habitat for many of our Australian frogs. And they will just sit on the bank edge and other areas and call for females to come in. I can't see any tadpoles in here, neither can I see spawn or bubble nests. So we're going to look around for, uh, for a bit and see what we can find. And I'm not expecting to find tadpoles because it's only very early in the season. Now, looking around, there isn't much life in sight, but I'll have a look here in this dry eucalyptus area. And underneath the logs and other debris, there could be some animals. But look, what's that? What's that little nose there? This is a female tusk frog, Adilotus brevis. It's a vulnerable species, and it may be extinct in some areas. You can tell it's a female, because males have large tusks if, during breeding season, which they use for fighting. Large males can become so aggressive, they can disembowel other males. Males have a distinct call that goes, Rook! As you can see, they've got a beautiful pattern underneath their belly. Males attract f females by establishing a breeding site and making a large foamy mass. The largest male with the largest mass wins all the breeding rights to the females. The females will lay their eggs in these humongous foamy blo blobs and will lay and the tadpoles will be released in, an, in about another five weeks. They can commonly be found in, in near, nearby waterways and also they can be found underneath creek banks and other areas like this. Female males can only eat mollusks such as slugs and some snails. Meanwhile, females usually eat many types of insects, their favourites being beetles. 